I feel so privileged to serve at DFA, to be part of this community in context. I love this place and I love what God is doing here and there's no place that I would rather be. I can't imagine being any place else and I'm so thankful every day that this is where God has called me to be. <laughs> I love that we really truly are partnering with families in kingdom work and the, the families that send their kids here, they care deeply about their children and they want them to have a quality academic and social and spiritual experience in high school. And so they can have confidence in sending their children here that that's gonna happen and it allows them to be um, more effective in their ministries. One of the things that, that really makes the school stand out from, from, from other places is that it's a mission school. Uh, what does that mean? Um, well, we serve primarily missionary families. We make sure that students can get an education that they need to, to go to college or to, uh, to the next thing that they want to do um, when, they leave, when they leave school. Um, but also make sure that the, the work that the missionary families are doing uh, can continue. Um, so in short, we serve here so that they can serve there. My name is Adam Hill. I've been here for seven years total. I teach in the history department. Right now I'm teaching U.S. history and uh, AP comparative government. You know, I think it, there are those moments where you feel like you've gotten teenagers to think about something. You know, there's maybe some things that you're teaching them that might not become relevant in their lives until, you know, five years down the road, ten years down the road. To make them realize that their ideas matter and that people are taking them seriously and that it's, it's worthwhile for them to, to think and to express themselves and to develop opinions that are informed. Um, you know, I think those are the moments where you sort of realize, hey, maybe I'm having an impact on the student. But if I can play a role in the lives of those families to uh, help them feel confident that their son or their daughter is being loved and nurtured and taught by you know, quality teachers that are helping them prep for life beyond BFA, you know, I think it's it's then that you sort of feel like you're you're part of this bigger community and we're all sort of investing ourselves in one another, in each other's children, and I think it's just a part of what the body of Christ does. We're Dave and Barb, and, and we're, the girls call us Uncle Dave and Aunt B. Yeah, we, uh, we try our best to parent these girls here in this house. It's exciting to see them grow. Um, it's, it's fun to see them laugh and play and, and, and cry and study and hard and, and to stress and and to come home with victories, but also come home with, with the burdens and, and to be able to share them. And, and uh, so it's, it's, it's uh, uh, we, we, we enjoy the ministry. We don't profess to do this as well as mom and dad do it. We try our best to be second best. We don't try to overrule the parents in any way. 
We are, we are here to support the parents and to grow that relationship that the kids have with their own parents. We don't want to, to come in between that in any way. We just want to help and support the parents in, in um, educating their children and, and helping them to mature and grow. People who give enable us to be able to do this with energy. The prayer support is immeasurable. And because we have the emotional energy to be able to invest in the girls, they're talking to their parents and saying, oh, it's good here, you know, it's, I'm, I'm succeeding, I'm, I have joy. And then the parents, in turn, they have the emotional energy to go and do what they need to do. We have families that, that serve here in Kunden in Germany because they're working with mission organizations to um, coordinate operations and activities and projects across the world. Uh, but we also have families that work further afield in Germany, across the border in France. Uh, we have them working in, in Central Asia, in the Middle East, in Southeast Asia, all over the world. Uh, so it's really interesting to, to see where people are coming from and, and why and supporting these, these particular projects that, that they're doing. Um, we know very clearly that if we weren't here, um, these mission projects just simply wouldn't happen. They just would stop. So I'm Gene Harder, this is my wife Melissa. Um, we have a son Jacob who just graduated from BFA and our daughter Ashley is gonna be a senior next year. We've been in Condor now for four years. Yeah, we uh, felt like God was calling us as a family to do something, but we didn't know where. It's always been a passion of mine, cycling and anything mechanical. Um, that's another surprise for me is how God could use something that I just see as a, as a fun hobby as a way for me to connect with refugees. So I go to two different refugee camps um, every week to do bicycle repairs on site. They'll ask, why are you here? What are you doing this for? And we'll tell them, you know, we'll say something like, well, I feel like God loves me so much that I want to share some of his love with you by serving you in this way. And that we see the church as not just a building, but the people. And so we feel like even this act of fixing a bicycle is part of church. Without BFA, we frankly would not have ended up in Germany. There was no way we were going to put them in a German school. They were already teenagers. We knew that you can't homeschool in Germany. So when we first got the invitation, we thought, well, German is just not possible. As we made the decision, we almost simultaneously found out about Black Forest Academy and we're just blown away that God could answer that question without any issue whatsoever. I just loved how the teachers love on the students mm -hmm. and the teachers really care for the students. So I feel totally blessed to have, to have them here at BFA. One of the things that I've seen in both of our kids with their experience at BFA is just an expansion of their um, overall uh, roundedness. Jacob's a great example. To me, he's a more uh, well-rounded young man uh, because of his experience at BFA. I mean, there's nowhere else that he would have had that kind of exposure that he's had at BFA to so many different, both arts and sciences and music and things like that. God has blessed us with five children. We sent uh, Paul, David, and Stephen to Black Forest Academy for 11th and 12th grade back in 2007. And then our son Mark uh, went in 2011. And our daughter Rebecca in 2014 for the first time. So we've had five, all five of our children attend Black Forest Academy. And uh, we're so thankful for the education that Black Forest Academy has provided for our children. 
my main ministry is teaching at Maranatha Bible Institute, a school that trains pastors and leaders for our churches in Burkina Faso. We have 700 churches. Having a strategic opportunity to uh, train future pastors. I am also involved with our radio ministry. We have four radio stations that are proclaiming the gospel and serve as our team leader here. We have several other couples that are working with us. These lovely women that I get to teach. This is a huge part of my ministry here in Burkina Faso. Black Forest Academy came highly recommended by another MK. And as we have talked with our children, they all, without a doubt, have said how important their years at BFA were for them. Each of us have our own set of hands, and yet we're all involved in the same work of the last few weeks people. And so we're thankful for BFA for our part of that providing such a great education for our children.